All right, so here's how to fix uh, stitching errors in Panono. If I zoom in, you'll see there's an error here at uh, my daughter's head and my son's chin. There are stitching errors there. Uh, first, I'll zoom out and then I'll apply the spherical fan panorama to view it in 3D or, or 360 rather. So give it a few seconds because it's a very large file. So now you can see the image in 360. So we're going to focus on that area that has a stitching problem. We're going to put it close to the middle. Then we're going to add the uh, a patch using the one of the existing photos. So when you take a photo with the Panono, it'll take a, a UPF file, unstitched Panono format. So it's actually kind of like a zipped file. You use the Panono UPF converter to expand the file. So when you do that, you'll see that the uh, file actually consists of 36 JPEGs. So you look for the one that we'll, we'll, we're going to use as the, um, the portrait or the patch. So that, that'll be this one. So it has my son's chin and my daughter's head. It's complete. So we're going to uh, drag that uh, patch photo. Um, we're going to put it over the existing photo. So notice it's, it's, up, it's upside down. So you have to uh, rotate it. Uh, you have to resize it. So it will match the uh, size and um, uh, root angle of the, the photo that we're trying to fix. So uh, one thing that can help is to change the opacity uh, like to 50% or something like that. Then you can see, you can match it. I tried to look at the eyes. Another thing you'll notice is that um, the 360 photo is actually not entirely the same in terms of the perspective so you'll actually have to change the proportions by uh, moving this and it, so it won't be completely proportional to the original photo uh, so after you paste it there let's say you need to apply a layer mask um, and then work on one small part at a time it's very hard to match the entire photo so I, I prefer to do it um, one small part at a time. So I first I hide all, then I paint the uh, uh, the patch in. Let's say here, so you see that I was able to fix the neck and the chin, kind of like that. Here I patched my daughter's head, and I ap applied an adjustment layer. Um, and this one I'm going to clip it so that it applies only to that that uh, specific. Uh, part uh, to match the, the exposure then I here I uh, patched my son's chin and his shirt so when we're ready to uh, finalize it we're going to uh, merge do a merge visible on only the uh, patch areas and then um, this one we're, we're gonna make it visible again the original layer the 360 layer and we're gonna do a merge down not the flattened image, not a, not a merge visible, but a merge down. Now uh, we can um, uh, go back and we can still view this in 360 and you can see the merged areas patched correctly. Now we're going to um, export, go 3D, spherical panorama, export panorama. Uh, let's call this edited, drag that here. And here's the photo. It's now fixed. So thanks for watching. For the full review of the Panono, uh, check out 360rumors.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in 360.